find the integral of sec theta squared tan theta squared d theta. All right, well, normally what I do first is I try and think of a trig identity that might help. There are trig identities that involve sec theta and tan theta. I know that I make them from the fundamental trig identity, so um, cos theta squared plus sine theta squared equals 1. I divide everything by cos theta, that'll give me 1 there. Sine divided by cos is tan, so that's tan theta squared, and that's sec theta squared. So I could replace that sec theta with a 1 plus tan squared, but then I get tan squared plus tan to the 4. That doesn't seem at all helpful to me. Maybe there's a different way that tan and sec are related. Yes, yes, that's it. Sec squared is the derivative of tan. Okay, so I've found that sec squared is the derivative of tan. Well, if one bit's a derivative of another, that means I really should have been using substitution. Okay, well, I'll rub that out. I should be saying that u is equal to tan theta, and then du on d theta is sec theta squared, so du is sec theta squared d theta. So now I've got the th sec theta squared d theta, that's my du, and my u is tan theta. Okay, so the integral of sec theta squared tan theta squared d theta is the integral of the tan theta becomes a u and it's still squared and the sec theta squared d theta is du. So I put the power up by 1 and that'll become u cubed and divide by 3 and there'll be a plus cc because it's an indefinite integral so it'll be a third of now u is actually tan theta, tan theta cubed plus c.